I probably need to shave. Um, but uh, hello, people. Today is going to be a chill one because of many things, many things going on uh, in my personal life right now. School, ma mainly school. Uh, oh my God, not again. Just a bunch of things that stress me out. But hopefully next week, everything will be uh, better. So I figured I address a question that I got in my last video about what am I buying now the short and truthful answer is I ran out of money um, now I'll explain myself better um, I ran out of money <laughs> uh, so the last thing I bought actually uh, goes back trace all the way back to July mid to beginning of July if I'm not mistaken probably mid July so it was the six of one five one Japanese booster boxes, which is got which I got for sixty nine euros um, each shipped, and uh, I mean, it's pretty funny I got them for sixty nine euros, uh, but I swear I did. And uh, these two, which I bought for uh, let's say flipping reasons, uh, the two uh, Arcus V Star uh, from um, V Star Universe, which I still believe is the best set ever. And uh, I might buy more of these. I was tempted to buy more of these. And uh, again, it's gonna, you know, I'm gonna do the how I turn uh, $69,000 in uh, $69 million, uh, video uh, ASAP as I'm selling my last cards. Uh, so that I think is gonna be a pretty interesting video in depth analysis of how I was able to make such plays, which it wasn't a turn and burn. Uh, you know, it was just buy specific cards where you saw potential because of X, Y, and Z. Uh, so facts, as well as a bit of uh, that card is sick kind of things. And uh, most of them, if not all of them, but like most of them uh, played out uh, as expected. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen again in the future. That's one thing that in investing space here, especially in Pokemon, um, I mean, mainly in Pokemon, uh, people don't seem to get the fact that something happened in the past does not mean it's going to happen in the future. There's, uh, you know, let's say psychological reasons. So you could go into uh, behavioral economics of that and you can go into the math. Uh, so that would be mainly statistics uh, of why what happened in the past does going to happen. It doesn't mean it's going to happen in the future. I made a few videos on it. Well, I'll link you to it. Uh, but uh, yeah. I mean, I understand it, it, it's not, uh, it's a niche, you know, especially in the, the math terms. Uh, people may not realize that, but because it happened in the past, doesn't mean it's going to happen in the future. So what am I planning to buy? So as you said, I have a very limited budget, which I think it's pretty good because it makes me think uh, more than twice about what is my ne next purchase. And I think that, you know, if you have a, a larger budget, uh, like some maybe big content creators, but even the, the average Timmy uh, that is watching could, could most likely have a larger budget than uh, myself. You know, I try to optimize what I buy. I would like to sell a few things, but it's not the time yet. Uh, I do have a few sword and shield booster boxes that I'm profit. Um, I'm in the green now on, and but I do think that's my opinion. Uh, I also, it's backed up by a few, some data. This winter, we might see another rise in Zone Shield. I wouldn't be surprised. We'll see. It's all speculation at the end of the day, but uh, I, 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 let's, see, let's say it's an educated guess. So what am I planning to buy? Uh, well, if, if you have me go to the channel so I can get monetized, uh, so if you want to subscribe, uh, then I highly appreciate it. So we can, uh, I can buy money with uh, YouTube. Uh, I can buy Pokemon with YouTube money. You know, I found that comment to be very suspect. I wish I could buy money with uh, Pokemon. Uh, I mean, you kind of can. You can. But anyways, um, Barrett, don't get lost. Uh, I knew it was coming, I just didn't know when. I am interested in Surgeon Sparks. I think it's going to be a good set. I don't think it's going to be a great set. It looks good. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look, uh, you know, it doesn't look Evolving Sky as good, but it looks good. And uh, so I'm curious to see what's gonna, ha gonna happen now. In three days, uh, we have Paradise Dragona releasing in Japan. 
and I'm curious to see what that LIS is going to fetch in uh, um, Japanese, uh, what price is going to get to. Um, I am guessing over 100 uh, as the Trapagos from Stellar Miracle, I think it's called Japanese, um, is just right around $100 here or whatever. Um, so I'm curious to see what that. So interesting surge in Spark to see what's going to happen. Uh, but, uh, you know, the more time I spend in this hobby and uh, I know it from investing in general, it's, you know, there's many people play the I buy a bit of everything. Uh, that doesn't maximize returns. Uh, what maximizes returns is picking the right. Interesting. Thing. Now, you know, you don't know what's going to be the right thing. You don't know what's going to be evolving in skies, but in my my opinion, my f investing philosophy is: I make I try to make an educated guess. If it plays out good, if it doesn't, uh, I know the risk I'm encountering. I'm aware of that. Uh, I might I may lose on potential gains, or I may outperform, you know, the basket of sets. So that's my philosophy. That's why I am contemplating even getting more Vista Universe, contemplating uh, at these prices, I don't want to get more uh, 151. So I want to focus more on uh, good sets, buy a ton of good sets, rather than just buy a bit of this and a bit of that. Now, hope that helps guys. Uh, that's what I'm doing. I don't buy every day, I don't buy every month, I don't buy every week. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't have unlimited money. Uh, but you can change that by subscribing and uh, stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.